Hello again, I wanted to do part two of my anime collection. I have more even after this video, but here's starting with another series, Black Lagoon. It's currently airing on Adult Swim right now, Tsunami, but I'm pretty sure they're editing the heck out of it because I know there's a lot of cussing in it. A lot of things I'm pretty sure they're not showing on the Tsunami blog. And basically it's about this mercenary group that's part of this uh, fictional island in the South China Sea called Aranopore. And it's kind of like a free-for-all where anyone could do what they want. And it's a hub of a lot of criminals. It's a lot of good action in it, a lot of stuff that, you know, I like in it. But I would warn you, the episodes where the twins in them that I just showed you from the second barrage gets kind of really dark. I mean, it's pretty dark and graphic about these two twins that are mercenaries. And it's like, I mean, when you get past that, it's not so bad. And you have to also get past a lot of people don't like is how the fact Revy has people shooting at her from close range and no one, she never gets hit. So that's a little much too. So, I mean, if you can get past that stuff, it's not a bad series. Now, another series I want to talk about is Ayoshi right here. That one I got a long time ago. I mean, it looks a little suggestive on the thing, but basically it's about these two people that are in arranged marriage when they were kids and they're supposed to get married as they get older. And of course, they live in this house to get, you know, together as they're going about to get married. And it has all the little tropes in it the, that I don't like anymore: the clumsy maid, the blonde American who's really over the top and wild and Tina. So it's 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 okay. I don't know. In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but maybe I would. And I think I also noticed an interesting. It was signed by Wendy Lee. I used to get things signed all the time, and now I don't so much at conventions because, like, literally. It won like ten dollars for an autograph. That's ridiculous. I already paid to get in. Why am I paying you ten dollars for you to sign something? I mean, sure, for Stan Lee, Tom McFarlane, I would, and Mark Fallen never charges, by the way. But yeah, for someone like that, I would. But you're just a voice actor. I mean, seriously, I think that's a little ridiculous. That was another series I got a while back, Key the Metal Isle. Basically, it's to take on Pinocchio, but with a machine trying to be a real person, puppet type of thing. So it's okay. The voice dub isn't that good. That's when Voice dubs still weren't on par with subs, basically, you know, as far as the acting and the voices go. So I wouldn't recommend it getting If you can get it cheap, fine. I mean, you might have a hard time finding it, but it's okay for what it is. Now, this is another series that's moving. I mean, it's really, really good. And everybody should get it, especially if you're over 18. Perfect blue. It's a great series. The reason I'm coming to the bottom because you're showing your stab someone. It's basically done by the great... Uh, Serhody Khan, I'm probably saying that wrong, but this guy is a really, really talented director. He also directed Paprika and Part Agent. I mean, a lot of great animes. And basically, the story about a girl named Mima who's a famous singer, but then she wants to go on and be an actress, but then she has to realize she has to do things maybe she doesn't want to do to get fame. And then she has a guy stalking her every place she goes to and tries to figure, you know, tries to, you know, be part of her life. And it's creepy, certain, but it's really, really good writing and it's excellent. And a lot of movies copied a lot of scenes from this movie. Like, take, for instance, this last scene right here. It's straight out of uh, part of Wrecking the Dream. And the director even said he got it from this. So I recommend if you can find it, it'd be kind of hard to find it. You should get this. It's really good. And here's another movie I like from probably one of my favorite series of all time. is Tenchi. The first Tenchi movie. A lot of people like this one because it had a nice, sweet story. And Tenchi goes in back in the past and he has to, you know, protect his mom and dad when they were younger. So, I mean, it has a lot of nice little elements like that, and the whole crew's there, Ryoka, Aika, Washu, the whole bunch. And it's good. I like it. It's not as my favorite. No, I like Tenji Forever, and I know that's controversial, because that's way more a romantic movie than, say, an action sci-fi movie, but I like it. I mean, over this one. I mean, it's not horrible, but it is what it is. And here's another one I find really funny story about this. It's called Alien 9. I actually never watched this. I didn't even pay a penny for this. I won this at the 2003 Las Vegas Comic Con, which is so hilarious because I'm like, there's only like 30 people in the raft, so I had a good odds and I want it. And the thing about this is I never, you know, even know nothing about the story, but I figured, hey, you know, it's a free box, I can't knock that, so. And here's another one that I watched that I first saw on Adult Swim, it's really good. It's, I mean, I'm gonna say really good, but it's okay. We're trying to rob it. Again, not the, you know, knockout series. It's basically about witches, whatever, that are hunting other witches, and they're part of this investigative movement going after them. They're the bad ones, basically. It's okay, but it's not, again, groundbreaking or anything. Well, this is part two of my collection. I'll show you some more down the line, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you later.